What's up, Two Cents FC? My name is Messiah Bright for, for TCU. You're about to get to know me in 10 questions. So I am originally from Dallas, Texas, born and raised um, in a little south of Dallas in the DeSoto Cedar Hill area. Um, life was really good growing up. You know, I had two loving parents, uh, two hardworking parents, so I couldn't really complain about anything. Um, I grew up in a strong, supportive family, two hardworking parents, Damian Bright and Kimberly Ross. Um, you know, they made sure I never had to want for anything. Um, you know, my life was pretty much going to school and then after school, going to practice um, in, the, in, the, in the North Dallas area. Uh, that was about an hour drive for me every day, uh, just going and training and getting the call and training that I needed. I uh, started playing around the age of four years old, recreation level, and then around the age of seven is when I started competitive play. Um, you know, just getting my first opportunity to be on the club team. Uh, I started uh, playing for the Mustangs FC, and then I stayed with them for a couple of years. And then my eighth grade year, I moved over to Solar Soccer Club where I was coached by the best of the best, uh, Derek Missimo, and then later on being coached um, in ECL and the DA play with Adrian Soka. Um, and then I rain, remained with them throughout high school until it was time for college play. Um, who's had the biggest influence on my career would have to be my family, specifically my dad, my mom, and my little sister. Uh, I spent my entire life, you know, watching my parents make a way for me. Um, even if they didn't have it at the time, they didn't really let me see it. Um, I definitely play for them in hopes of returning the favor in the future. Uh, my little sister Harley, we're 14 years apart, um, so that's a really huge gap. But um, I know that she looks up to me as well. And so, you know, I just try to be that example for her um, in the hopes of maybe being inspiration of uh, being an inspiration to her. Uh, with whatever career plan that she chooses to take um, in the near future in her upcoming years. So, um, My strongest qualities on the pitch, I would have to say that um, I'm a player who's coachable. Uh, I'm a team player. Um, I have a good IQ for the game and a good knowledge of what's going on on the pitch. Um, and I have a lot of speed and technical ability. So my major now at TCU, I am a strategic, strategic communications major. Uh, that's a major that's building interpersonal relationships with different stakeholders. Uh, you know, coming into college, I bounced from a lot of different majors. I started on the pre-vet track and then that didn't really work out. Biology wasn't my strong suit. So then I moved to psychology and realized that that wasn't for me and then moved into like maybe computer and information science and realized that that wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, so, you know, just, I tried it all and hopping into the Stratcom department, I received a lot of subjects, uh, bouncing from like PR to taking diversity and inclusion classes, um, learning advertising and design and even doing like photography, which is one of my passions. So I saw that the program had everything built into one system and so it gave me a lot of options and I just stuck with it and yeah, pretty much fell in love with it. Uh, so standout memory at TCU, um, I, I have a lot that are pretty dear to my heart, um, but I always like to re reflect on the past season that I've had with my team. So one standout memory is uh, from a team setting is uh, winning the Big 12 back-to-back -back conference title and then also winning our first um, ever Big 12 tournament um, title. We've always been really, really close in the past few years. So just getting that under our book was one thing that was very special and dear to my heart in that moment. And then individually, I wanna say um, being able to achieve uh, All-American, that was something that I've always been working hard towards uh, throughout college. So just being able to get that and then also becoming the score, the leading scorer and point holder for TCU's program. So one interesting fact about myself is that I can do impersonations. Yeah, so like if I can hear it the first time, I'll just probably do it and it'll catch my teammates off guard. 
sometimes because they're like, oh, you're always so good at that. You're always so good at mocking something that I hear. So, uh, my best one would probably have to be uh, Stitch. That's a good one. And then from Lilo and Stitch. And then another one, um, I'm, I'm not sure if you're like fond of it, but on TikTok of the guy where it's like, back it up, back it up, back it up. Like I can do that one pretty well. But I mean, it varies. I haven't done Stitch in a while, so I'm not gonna do it now, but maybe in the near future. <laughs> Um, one thing I can't live without would have to be my cell phone, just because it holds my business life as well as my social life. So everything is pretty much wrapped up in this bad boy, you know? So, um, I know it sounds pretty sus, but yeah, I would have to say my phone just because it stores everything that I need in one area. So my favorite pre-game ritual involves listening to Young Boy with my headphones in the locker room. Um, have to listen to Young Boy, he, he gives me hyped. And then wearing a Nike tie headband, so it's like the one where you put it over and then you tie it in the back. Um, I always wear that every game. I have different colors like red, white, black, purple. So it depends on what my mood is. Um, and then I like to dance in, in the locker room in front of my teammates, even though I'm not the best at it, but I like to feel that I am at heart. Um, and then my post game ritual, uh, it's pretty straightforward depending on how heavy the game was. Um, but usually I just go in the locker room, um, change really fast. And then my family's always waiting for me at the top where like in the parking lot. So I pretty much just go up there and socialize with them for about an hour or so depending. You know, depends, so yeah, that's about it. Um, so some of my hobbies, I said it prior, but I like to take phot uh, photos just cause um, I, I was actually away from my camera for about two years just because I got caught up in a lot of things like just busy with school and uh, then COVID came around. So I didn't really have that opportunity to just start back up, um, but in Sweden, at the, uh, when I went to the U23 Youth National Team Camp, uh, I had the opportunity to take it with me. So I had a lot of downtime to just, you know, um, use it and get back familiar with it. So that was fun. And then also I just like to spend time with friends and watch Netflix and chill, relax when I'm not doing soccer. So, mm. <laughs> uh, right now it had to be Stranger Things just cause I just finished volume two. Uh, so my ultimate career goal as a footballer is, you know, to just learn and grow in every aspect of the game, uh, you know, playing probably the highest of the highest, you know, soccer and um, being able to compete against the best of the best in hopes of, you know, maybe transitioning into that role for myself in the futures to come. And then um, beyond football is, you know, just thinking of things like giving back to my Dallas community, um, kids who aren't for as fortunate enough to play at a competitive level and just being in that system, um, trying to find ways to give them that opportunity to do that. And then also, um, I mean, I'm not really sure of what else, but whatever is in store for like in the future on like maybe things that I can think about, I'll do that as well. But that is probably like top one. I hope you guys learned a little bit about me. My name is Messiah Bright. Peace out.